Hi everyone, it's Raina. So this video is for Capricorn Sun and Capricorn Rising, March 2020 astral update. Uh, I kind of said that backwards, but you get the point. So this is a month where we begin the month in a Mercury retrograde, and it's in the same sign as the Sun in Pisces. But very soon after um, the month has gotten underway, on the 4th, Mercury goes back into Aquarius. So basically, the uh, Mercury retrograde starts in your third house and goes into back into the second. So this could be an effect where something that uh, maybe this has some something to do with a contract. Uh, the third house can be any type of communication, actually. Uh, but written communication as well. Mercury rules the third house, so any uh, third house transportation issues, what have you, um, goes back into the second, which is your earning power. So, you know, I the third house can even be teaching and learning a new skill, so you may be kind of tossing that around in your head. Perhaps you want to raise in your career and they're telling you you don't have a certain piece of paper that you need. Um, third house, in terms of this kind of training, would be more hands-on than than the opposite house, the ninth house, which is um, what you call it, you know, university. And I, actually, I'm going to get to that because we are going to have a ninth house full moon. So it makes me wonder if some of you uh, are graduating um, university or a graduate pro some kind of a program that was at that level and now you realize you still need more training or something like that I don't know how that would play out um, so uh, Venus goes into fellow earth sign Taurus on the fourth of the month as well so we have these two two transits Mercury going into Aquarius and this is interesting because Mercury going into back into Aquarius is going back into Taurus, an Earth house. So Venus rules Taurus. Venus goes into Taurus in your fifth house. So I wonder if some can, uh, Capricorn people have been uh, trying to launch a business on the, on the side, and maybe you're going to start to see it turn a profit. The fifth house can be the business you own. Um, so the, and, and the reason when I see transits happening on the same day, I try to draw a connection between them. So that kind of makes me wonder if there's some, uh, for some of you, if there's some connection between the money that you're earning and your own business and still thinking about, um, you know, perhaps some other type of, uh, day job that you have. On the 9th, Mercury goes direct. Here's another one-two punch. Mercury goes direct at 28 degrees of Aquarius in that second house. And there's a full moon at 19 degrees of Virgo in the ninth house. So that's what I was alluding to when I was talking about finishing up some kind of a course of studies. So it's really about getting your head straight on your finances and exactly how you want to proceed because you might be crunching numbers. You might be saying, well, if I get this certification, I can, uh, I'll be able to make $10,000 more a year. And it's only going to take me six months to get this, you know, so just something along those lines. Um, the full moon in the ninth house could be even like a spiritual download where you're, seeing things from a more philosophical point of view. So it may not have any kind of material connection to it because the ninth house is more a mental house than, you know, anything else. And, um, and then Mercury goes back into Pisces on the 16th. So that's back into the third house. And so you're going to feel that sense of forward momentum. Um, Mercury comes out of its shadow, I believe on the 30th of the month too. But Mercury in the third is very good for, you know, communicating with siblings, 
um, even though the second house is the money that you earn, I just look at it as a money house, you know. So if you had any kind of falling out with siblings, or when I say falling out, I mean more just not understanding each other. Um, maybe it had to do with an inheritance or something like that. This could come back into the picture in terms of, you know, resolving things. Um, so basically, you know, thus far, I'm seeing a lot of um, second house activity with uh, the Aquarius energy. And this brings to mind or brings me to a certain point. Let me just um, talk about the astrological new year when the sun goes into Aries. This is happening on the 19th. And for you, this is the fourth house of home and family. So Capricorn, um, you know, you're going to start to then interact with the mother or some people think the fourth house is the father, but the family of origin and the third house, by the way, can be siblings. So why well, I, I think I mentioned that. So uh, there might be family stuff going on. But um, a couple of days after that, on the 21st, Saturn goes into Aquarius, which for you is that second house. So Saturn will only get to one degree of Aquarius. And of course, this is your ruler, so it's even more significant. Uh, but it's only going to get to one degree um, before it retrogrades in May. And then eventually goes back into your sign in uh, July, early July, like July 2nd. So I looked at the end of this year. It is, I think it only ends up being at one degree after it in Aquarius goes back into Aquarius in December. So a lot of the, the, the real main influence of Saturn in the second house is going to be more apparent to you in 20. 21. And I actually think that it can be quite good because first of all, since it rules your sign and it rules your house, the 10th house, which is another earth house, I think that Saturn does very well with earth because that's what its goal is, is to bring things into manifestation. So uh, it's like the real deal. It wants real results. So in the second house, we're talking about money and all of the things about money management. And given the fact that you are either a sun or a rising in Capricorn, chances are you have a pretty good handle on money, especially the sun in um, Capricorn. And so where other people might get a little um, uncomfortable with having this very serious planet in a money house, for you it works out very nicely because uh, Capricorns tend to be rather frugal to begin with. And um, so you're not somebody that really cares about spending money. If anything, you would love to be able like, how can I save even more money? And um, so there's more information on how Saturn in Aquarius will affect your sun sign or rising sign. So you can check my channel, my playlist for that. Um, but anyway, on with the countdown here. Um, that's happening on the 21st. Then on the 24th, we have a new moon at four degrees of Aries in the house, home and family. Maybe, maybe some of you are planning on moving and you're checking out the local area where you, where you want to move, trying to see if you like it there and so on and so forth. Maybe even in your own town, like a different part of town, because you, you, you realize that you can move somewhere else and still be close by. Um, this can just have any kind of, um, developments as it relates to, uh, domestic affairs. On the 30th, Mars goes into Aquarius, therefore that second house, and you end the month on a tear, you know, you really want to 
make money. Now, again, this could be for a specific purpose, like putting a down payment on a house, but that's something that you're very motivated by. So you're very motivated by this earthy goal of money. Maybe there's a certain high ticket um, item that you want to purchase. Um, and if you already have been trying to, you know, maybe this was a, a contract during the Mercury retrograde that had to do with a house. And maybe you're going to, um, you already have that settled, but the only thing is you, you want to buy a special piece of furniture or something, who knows? So you might be working overtime, you just might be working a second job, but you really want to try to generate income and you have the physical wherewithal to do so. So that's good. Okay. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you'd like a natal chart interpretation or other type of um, reading, ast astrological reading, please check me out. Uh, the link is below. I'm at rainamoonastrology.com. Take care. Bye.